The Chittagong Hill Tracts (CHT), Bengali, Parbatya Katagrama, Parboto Chattagram, or the Hill Tracts for short, are an area within the Chattagram Division in southeastern Bangladesh, bordering India and Myanmar, Burma. Covering 13,295 square kilometers (5,133 square miles), they formed a single district until 1984, when they were divided into three districts: Kagrachari District, Ranamati Hill District, and Bandarban District. Topographically, the hill tracts are the only extensively hilly area in Bangladesh. It was historically settled by many tribal refugees from Burma or Rakhine in 16th century and now it is settled by indigenous peoples who have been living there since. With Ladakh, Sikkim, Tawang, Darjeeling, Bhutan, and Sri Lanka, they constitute one of the few remaining abodes of Buddhism in South Asia. Geography Hill Tracts CHT, the only extensive hilly area in Bangladesh lies in southeastern part of the country 210-25 n to 230-45 feet n latitude and 910-54 e to 920-50 feet e longitude, bordering Myanmar on the southeast, the Indian state of Tripura on the north, Mizoram on the east and Chittagong district on the west. The area of the Chittagong Hill Tracts is about 13,184 square kilometers, which is approximately one-tenth of the total area of Bangladesh. The Chittagong Hill Tracts, combining three hilly districts of Bangladesh Rangamati, Kagrikhari and Bandarban districts. The mountainous rugged terrain with deep forests, lakes and falls gives it a divergent character from the rest of Bangladesh. Demography According to the census of 1991, the population was 974,447, of which 501,114 were tribal peoples and the rest were from Bengali, Muslim and Hindu community. The tribal populations include the Chakma, Marma, Tripura, Tanchanya, indigenous Assamese, Kyo, Kaibarta, Chak, Panko, Mro, Morong, Bom, Lushe, Kyang, and Kumi, and differ markedly from the Bengali majority of Bangladesh with respect to language, culture, physical appearance, religion, dress, and farming methods. The population of the three districts, Zillas, totaled 1,587,000 in the provisional returns of the census of 2011, make population density rough one. 120 per square kilometers. About 34% of the population are tribal peoples and mainly followers of Theravada Buddhism, 65% of the inhabitants are Bengalis, Muslims and Hindus, and 1% Christians or animists. History the early history of the Chittagong Hill Tracts, a record of constantly recurring raids by the Eastern Hill Tribes and of the operations undertaken to repress them, of which narrative will be found in the article on the Lushai Hills Eastern Chakma Kingdom. In the early 16th century the Chakma people came from Arakan, Burma, due to repression and hostility by Rakhine people. The Chakma are the single largest tribe, comprising half of the tribal population. The Marma people are the second largest tribe. They came from Burma when Arakan was conquered by Burmese king Bodapaya. The tribal peoples emigrated from Burma due to repression by the Burmese king settled in the hill tracts with the consent of Subadar of Bengal who is the representative of Mughal emperor. The Bengali people lived in Chittagong hill tracts from the later period of British rule. The Bengali people comprised majority of the population of Chittagong hill tracts. Mughal and early British records name the region Jum Bungu, Jum Mahal or Kapas Mahal. In 1787, the East India Company made the region its tributary after battling tribal leaders. British rule The use of the name Chittagong for this area dates to the 1860 British annexation of the region, bringing it under direct control of British India. Situated beyond the inland hills, Chittagong proper is a coastal area in the plains where the British were based. As colonial influence grew, Chittagong enlarged as well, expanding eastwards to subsume the hill tracts under its revenue collection territory. The recorded population increased from 69,607 in 1872 to 101,597 in 1881, to 107,286 in 1891, and to 124,762 in 1901. 
The census of 1872 was, however, very imperfect, and the actual growth of population has probably not exceeded what might be expected in a sparsely inhabited but fairly healthy tract. When the 1901 census was taken there were no towns, and 211 of the villages had populations of less than 500 apiece, only one exceeded 2,000. The population density, excluding the area of uninhabited forest 1,385 square miles, was 33 persons per square mile. There was a little immigration from Chittagong, and a few persons had emigrated to Tripura. The proportion of females to every 100 males was only 90 in the district born, and 83 in the total population. Buddhists numbered 83,000, Hindus 36,000, and Muslims 5,000. The Chittagong Hill Tracts, combining three hilly districts of Bangladesh, were once known as Korpos Mahal, the name used until 1860. In 1860 it was annexed by the British and was made an administrative district of Bengal. Administratively, the Chittagong Hill Tracts were divided into three circles, namely the Chakma Circle, the Bomong Circle, and the Mong Circle, each presided over by a hereditary chief from the Chakma and Marma peoples. As of today, it is a semi-autonomous region within Bangladesh comprising the districts of Chengmi, Kagrachari District, Gonkabor, Rangamati Hill District, and Arvumi, Bandarban District. End of British rule the last viceroy, Louis Mountbatten, 1st Earl Mountbatten of Burma, who considered the grant of independence to India as his act of crowning glory, was ambitious to achieve this superhuman task in record time. He said that before accepting the post of viceroy, he had told George VI, who was his cousin, I am prepared to accept the job only on one condition. India must be granted independence by July, 1948 and I will not stay there a day longer. Mountbatten came to India in March 1947 and this left him just about 16 months to complete such a gigantic task. In reality, he achieved it in five months, on 15 August 1947, for which he was given much credit. Originally, the award of the Boundary Commission was to be made public on 13 August. But Mountbatten was reluctant to make this public. According to Philip Ziegler, the author of Mountbatten, S. Official Biography, The Case of the Chittagong Hill Tracts was uppermost in Mountbatten's mind. Mountbatten foresaw an Independence Day marred by rancor, Nehru boycotting the ceremonies, India born in an atmosphere not of euphoria but of angry resentment. So Mountbatten decided to announce the award only on 16 August when the celebrations were over. As Zeigler writes, India's indignation at the award of the Chittagong Hill Tracts to Pakistan may have been a factor in making up Mountbatten's mind to keep the reports to himself till after independence. Mountbatten was himself surprised by the ferocity of Allahbhai Patel's reaction to the issue. In his memoirs he wrote, The one man I had regarded as a real statesman with both his feet firmly on the ground, and a man of honor whose word was his bond, had turned out to be as hysterical as the rest. Candidly I was amazed that such a terrific crisis should have blown up over so small a matter. However, I have been long enough in India to realize that major crises are by no means confined to big matters. Leonard Mosley in his book The Last Days of the British Raj, puts it as a matter for Mountbatten's conscience. Conflict The conflict in the Chittagong Hill Tracts dates back to when Bangladesh was the eastern wing of Pakistan. Widespread resentment occurred over the displacement of as many as 100,000 of the native peoples due to the construction of the Koptai Dam in 1962. The displaced did not receive compensation from the government and many thousands fled to India. Sheikh Mujib was reported to have threatened to forcibly settle Muslim Bengalis in the hill tracts to reduce the native Buddhist and Hindu peoples into a minority because of asking the autonomy by tribal leaders. During the 1970s and 80s under Zayor Rahman, the government of Bangladesh started to settle the area with Bengali people, displacing the local inhabitants who had lived there for centuries and threatening their way of life. These attempts were resisted by the Hill tribes, who, with the latent support of neighboring India, formed a guerrilla force called Shanti Bahini. 
As a result of the tribal resistance movement, successive governments turned the hill tracts into a militarized zone. Following years of unrest, an agreement was formed between the government of Bangladesh and the tribal leaders which granted a limited level of autonomy to the elected council of the three hill districts. The 1997 Chittagong Hill, Tracts Peace Accord signed between the then Sheikh Hasina government and the Parbhatya Chattagram Jana Samhati Samiti, Party of the Tribal Peoples, has been opposed by the opposition parties as well as a fraction of the tribal rebels. Opposition parties argued that the autonomy granted in the treaty ignored the Bengali community. The successive Kalita Zia government promised to implement the peace treaty, despite their opposition to it during the previous government's term. According to the Ministry of Chittagong Hill Tracts Affairs, a peace treaty between the government of Bangladesh and Parbhatiya Chattagram Jana Samhati Samiti was signed on 2 December 1997. Land use and environment Tobacco cultivation Tobacco cultivation is damaging the ecology of the area, with loss of indigenous trees such as Chukrasia tabularis, Indian mahogany, and soil fertility. Many of the farmers of Rangamati, Bandarban and Kagrikari districts of Bangladesh have been losing their interests in cultivating indigenous crops like paddy, banana, maize, sesame, cotton, potato, pumpkin etc. as they became defaulters of loans provided by tobacco companies, they said. Environmental issues Like other mountainous areas in South and Southeast Asia, the Chittagong Hill tracts are undergoing deforestation and land degradation arising from environmentally unsuitable activities such as tobacco cultivation in sloping land, shifting cultivation and logging. Shifting cultivation, also known as slash and burn agriculture or swidden cultivation, embraces a large variety of primitive forms of agriculture. It is a special stage in the evolution from hunting and food gathering to sedentary farming. Mankind began to change its mode of life from food gatherer to food producer about 7000 BC by adopting shifting cultivation. Some form of shifting cultivation has been practiced in most parts of the world, but more intensive forms of agriculture have subsequently replaced it. The present shifting cultivation system with short fallow in the Chittagong Hill tracts has accelerated erosion, land degradation, deforestation, and impoverishment of tribal people in CHT. If the present state of degradation is continued, most of the areas under shifting cultivation will be severely degraded and the future generations will face more difficulties to eke out their livelihoods on further degraded land. Although there is some scope for shifting cultivators to leave the degraded fields and move to other areas. It is estimated that on average 8 hectares of land is necessary for the sustenance of a family in the Chittagong Hill tracts. If this ratio is adopted, 1,240,000 hectares land is required to sustain the present population, however, the total land available, excluding the reserve forest, is 928,000 hectares. Shifting cultivation, therefore, cannot fulfill even the subsistence requirements of the people. In such a situation, either large non-farm employment opportunities need to be created or more productive land use systems need to be developed and adopted. Given the sluggish growth of the economy, there is limited scope for generating adequate non-farming employment opportunities in the near future. It is, therefore, imperative to replace the present shifting cultivation system with more productive and sustainable land use systems to enable people to secure their livelihoods. Bibliography Bangladesh, Militarization in the Chittagong Hill Tracts, The Slow Demise of the Region's Indigenous Peoples. IWGIA Report 14. Copenhagen, IWGIA, Organizing Committee CHT Campaign and Shimon Geico Center. May 2012 Chapan Adnan and Ranaji Dastadar. Alienation of the Lands of Indigenous Peoples of the Chittagong Hill Tracts of Bangladesh. Dhaka, Chittagong Hill Tracts Commission and IWGIA May 2011. Shelley, Mazanur Rahman, 1992. The Chittagong Hill Tracts of Bangladesh, The Untold Story. Dhaka, Bangladesh, Center for Development Research, Bangladesh. Life is Not Ours, Land and Human Rights in the Chittagong Hill Tracts, Bangladesh. Copenhagen, Denmark, Organizing Committee, Chittagong Hill Tracts Campaign, 1991. 
Bronze, Claus Dieter, The MRU's, Peaceful Hillfolk of Bangladesh, National Geographic Magazine, February 1973, Volume 143, Number 1 References Citations Rasul, Golem, Tapa, Gopal B. 2003. Shifting Cultivation in the Mountains of South and Southeast Asia, Regional Patterns and Factors Influencing the Change. Land Degradation and Development, 14-495-508. DOI 10.1002, LDR.570. Rasul, Golem, Tapa, Gopal B., Zobish, Michael A. 2004. Determinants of Land Use Changes in the Chittagong Hill Tracts of Bangladesh. Applied Geography, 24 217 240. DOI 10.1016, J. APCA.2004.03.004. Rasul, Golam, Tapa, Gopal B. 2006. Financial and Economic Suitability of Agroforestry as an Alternative to Shifting Cultivation, The Case of the Chittagong Hill Tracts, Bangladesh. Agricultural Systems. 91 29 50. doi 10.1016, j.agzi.2006.01.006. Rasul, Golam. Political Ecology of the Degradation of Forest Commons in the Chittagong Hill Tracts of Bangladesh. Environmental Conservation. 34-1-11. doi 10.1017, SO3768929070038888. Rasul, Golam, Tapa, Gopal B. 2007. The Impact of Policy and Institutional Environment on Costs and Benefits of Sustainable Agricultural Land Uses, The Case of the Chittagong Hill Tracts, Bangladesh. Environmental Management. 40-272-283. doi 10.1007 per seconds 00267-005-0083-8. Tapa, Gopal B., Rasul, Golam, 2006. Implications of Changing National Policies on Land Use in the Chittagong Hill Tracts of Bangladesh. Journal of Environmental Management. 81 441 453. doi 10.1016, j.genevman.2005.12.002. External links Official website of the Chittagong Hill Tracts Commission Chittagong Hill Tracts in Banglapedia Background information, news and literature on the Chittagong Hill Tracts Survival International Ali, M. Amran and Toshiyuku Sachia, Land Rights of the Indigenous People of the Chittagong Hill Tracts in Bangladesh, a historical analysis of policy issues. Fourth World Journal, Volume 5, Number 1.